Hi, my name is Damon Brown. I'm the author of The Simple Guide to the iPad. Um, I have the iPad right here, and as you can tell, it's very, very small, a lot lighter than your average laptop. What we're talking is about two pounds here and about the size of an average piece of paper, so about eight and a half by 11. You'll notice too that it's kind of missing buttons. <laughs> it's touch screen based, and the only button you'll see is the home button, which you can always use to go back to the home screen when you get started. Uh, if we go around the device, you'll see some other things as well. Right at the top here, you'll go ahead and see a headphone jack. You can go and plug into that and get your music, get your sound, whatever you're into. Uh, right here, you'll see the sleep button, which actually turns it on and off. And on the side here, you'll see the mute button, which you can switch back and forth to turn off the sound. Right here, you'll see the volume, and that goes up and down. And finally, at the bottom, you'll see the speaker, as well as the plug that will go and connect it to whatever computer you happen to be using. Like I mentioned, it's touchscreen based. So once you get started, you can go ahead and slide to unlock it and use your finger. And tap on anything that you're interested in. Now you notice I'm not wearing any gloves or anything like that because the iPad actually needs to feel your human finger, for lack of a better term, to actually respond. So if you're in a cold environment and you're trying to use your gloves, that actually doesn't work. So after you get your iPad plugged in and started, you of course want to go ahead and get connected to the internet. You would go ahead and go to settings, which is the icon right here. And then you would have Wi-Fi right here, which will allow you to choose from the different Wi-Fi areas, Wi-Fi um, setups that are around you. If you actually have the 3G iPad, um, then you can actually go ahead and connect to AT&T and use their service as well.